Hello everyone, this is Asero Roxas, welcome you back to Let's Get Revenge on Final Fantasy 1 Ice Cavern. I already met you here, you know, and uh, during the time I actually bought different spells, I actually... I think I still bought stone in the last episode, but I bought it again this time. This one I actually went with Thundaga and Death, because Quake... It's alright, but we have Scourge for that, and Death instantly kills one foe, and I've had 100% accuracy with that so far getting here, so... Let's hope for the best and go in. I was so unprepared for this, but now I'm ready. Oh, yeah, by the way... I bought ethers. Or as soon as I find them, I found I bought ethers. Restore 50 MP, they're 150 gold each. I also bought tents, Phoenix Downs, and high potions, just in case. But we should be good to go. Let's get into a battle and let's just tear stuff up. We can go total balls to the wall for this because I am prepared. I just want to apologize for that horrible episode that's gonna go up because we did make progress in it, so. Oh well, at least we get to worry about a whole episode being dedicated to the ice cavern and or maybe a little bit afterwards. But other than that, you know, we're just here to get absolute revenge and destroy everything. Um, I've gotten some advice from friends saying I shouldn't be using the run button because that can uh, make battles occur faster. Um, I don't know if that's exactly true, but I like running just to get things done faster. It may lead to more battles, but the battles will be done quicker than it actually probably is to walk. I'll try walking and see how far that gets me, but um... Also, the experiencing gill is totally worth it. Ah, Thundaga, you are a lifesaver. Here, I'll try walking. Eh, it's about the same, to be honest. I mean, yeah, there was a brief time, yeah. Um, let's just fire Arga. Don't want to waste all of the ethers I have, or do I? Vengeance is justice. Justice is vengeance. Ah, just one of another quote. I should put that in a quote book. I should have a quote book at the end of like, like whenever I have like an LP anniversary of like a year or two years, I should just have like all the quote books. <laughs> all right, there we go. I think we take this one. Actually, what's down here? Nothing. Good. So we do go down here. Alright, so Cavern of Ice, B2. I didn't really research this cavern all that much, even after, you know, dying in it. I just died because I wasn't prepared. Like, I didn't have MP recovery. You're only, you're just like, I've seen people go in here at like level, when you're supposed to be like level 43. So b me being level 29 is a little, a little bit much. So it's a, l it's a little, you know, it's a little under leveled for this area, I guess. I don't know why. Um, mostly because I like breaking the game. <laughs> you know, you're not even supposed to be in here. I just like breaking games. Like if I ever, like when I do Golden Sun Lost Age, I have plenty of ways to break games. All right, cross here does nothing. Um, do we go this way? Or do we go up? Oh, mind flares. Mind flares be bad. Um, if I argo them, I have the MP to spare. Mind blast. That can instantly KO, can't it? Oh no, it can instantly paralyze. Okay. I remember mind flares from another Final Fantasy game that can instantly KO with that. But you know, paralyze two of my strongest people, so we're just gonna have Jackie annihilate them. <laughs> oh, we got a Phoenix down. Let's see what's up here. I'm curious. It just loops around. GG game, GG. Eh, have I, I learned that language from League of Legends. Uh, GG, good game, or GG, WP. Good game, well played. Because everyone is very honorable in League of Legends, unless you have that one jerk who's just trolly and douchebaggery all the time. But, um, you know, other than that, uh, let's try and use... Dia, Diara here just because I don't want to deal with these guys anymore and I have to and I have MP to spare because I have ethers this time. And I hope they just don't paralyze. I mean, we're doing seven hits. I, I forget what the max hit is in this game, but I've seen 64 hits out of Masters, which are the uh, class changes of monks. So it's a cool story. Alright, so... Trying to find our way. I don't like how this cave has, like, reused music. I mean, I know this game didn't have a whole lot of music to begin with, like, the soundtrack-wise. 
But still, new music would have been fine. Like, add like an ice theme to it even. Oops, Sam Sam gained a level, and Jackie gained a level. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead and do some magicking. Like some kiraging. You, 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 and sure, you too. Alright, so everyone's healed, so let's go ahead and use some ethers. I don't know why I was just trying to use ethers on people who don't get, who can't cast magic. Alright, so everyone's back at full. Jackie already has almost like 400 MP. That's ridiculous. Alright, now this, there's a... This is where you were... I, I, I came here originally, but I couldn't find the passageway out from falling down, and I realized I was an idiot about it. But uh, hopefully I'll be here to fix that mistake. Um, let's see here. And don't worry, once we're done with the ice cavern, we'll get something really cool for it. And it'll make traveling around the world a lot easier. And Fyarga everything else, because I have MP. And everything dies. Oh, guy gained a level, and Haseo gained a level. Awesome. Alright, so let's think about this carefully. We can go this way. Aw. Ooh, preemptive strike. That's good. Preemptive strike against dark wizards are always good. Um, let's throw up a par Proterra, even though they use magic. And let's use Thundaga. Like, I don't know how much health these things have, but... I know it's not magic defense, but it's still defense. Gives Sam Sam something to do. And everything dies. Alright. Tamed a red curtain. That's a pretty good item. And we got clothes, which is useless. And oh my god, why why is that occurring? Okay. Uh, some more mind flares. I, there's not a whole lot of different enemy variations in this dungeon. Just because there's not a whole lot of enemy, enemy variations in most dungeons. They have like one particular annoying enemy and I think the ice dragons in this area are that type of enemy. So if we actually... Oh. Alright enemies, you're starting to piss me off a little bit here. Can we hurry up and kill you guys faster? Uh, everything's faster than us just because they're higher level than us. Like you're supposed to have the fireplace done before you do this. And I haven't even touched the fireplace yet. For all you know, you don't even know there's a fireplace until I told you last episode. So, you're welcome. And if we actually go over... Oh, damn it. Janet. Alright, so let's use Diara because it kills everything and Fyarga because it kills everything even more. Hopefully none of us get paralyzed or killed. Hopefully we're faster than the specters and wraiths. Or whites, my bad. Oh, no paralyzation yet? No paralyzation. Alright, you can go ahead and paralyze a guy. He's a tank. He's meant to take damage. And Fyarga everything to death. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, and in this we have the flame sword, which sounds total badass. And it's actually stronger by one. But sadly, that won't help us in the fireplace, but we'll equip it for right now, I guess. And now we fall down the hole. Oh. We fall down the hole and we get into a battle. It's like they were waiting for us in that room. That's kind of creepy. Like they knew we were coming. It's like, we're just gonna get them when they fall down here. Maybe while they're in mid-air and falling, we can punch them in the stomach, like most traditional animes. I recently uh, started watching Inuyasha again with my girlfriend. Um, she's never seen it, she loves the show so far. Um, don't spoil anything, but we're right up to the point where we find out who Naraku is. It's so good. Like, she, she always just wants to watch more. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. Because I love watching it, too. Alright, now, the way I was supposed to do this, I think there's a... No, before I make prior mistakes, I'm gonna learn to actually think about it. Flame Sword of Doom! That Flame Sword looks so awesome. Too bad this is, like, the only ice place <laughs> in the game that you basically can use the Flame Sword, but it looks pretty cool. So go this way, go down. No, not this way. We go down this way. Take a right. I can't believe I never saw it. It makes me so angry knowing that it was here, but never saw it. It's like those riddles you get as a kid. It's like, 
You have me when I sit down, but when I stand up, I disappear. What am I? And people are like, oh, I don't know. And now you're just like, there's some person, some smart guy in there. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's a lap, guys. Oh, by the way, here's the stairs. I'm an idiot. I didn't find the stairs. All right, so we go in here. Get an ether. That would have been helpful earlier. Yeah, but see, that wasn't so bad. We got out of the first floor, and it only took us ten minutes to do so. <laughs> That's amazing time. All right. Now we've got to deal with these cockatrices and these mummies. Are you my mummies? No, you're all burned to freaking death. Remember, I'm still in my revenge mode, so you may not want to piss me off. Alright, so let's try going through here. What's in here? 10,000 gil. Just tossing gil to us, man. Uh, white dragons. I have the worm killer blade, so this should be fine. They do quite a bit of damage even to the tank, but uh, we also have the flame sword. <laughs> They're, uh, ice elemental. Sorry. Oh. More battles. Let's just hurry up and fire gear everything. I think we're right at the end here. I know, right? It took us 30 minutes last time to get here. Well, of course, we had to go to Crescent Lake. Or Crescent Village, or whatever it's called. Crescent Moon, whatever it's called. Alright, and the cockatrice mummies are dead, and uh, let's see, what's up here? One specific hole. This specific hole is very specific. Get an ice shield, and we get some gill. That ice shield is actually not better than... It is better than Mithril shield, but it's not good, especially if we're going to a fire area. But for right now, we can equip it, because uh, we're not going to be in the fire area for a while. I have some other things planned. Here we show off Stona. It's just like a gold needle. Who would have thought? Alright, so we fall down the hole of holes. And we get into a battle with the evil eye. This is basically the boss. He doesn't have a whole lot of HP, but he is the boss. Oh, he died. <laughs> I don't know whose idea is it to make a boss like that, but... We check it, and we get... The Levy Stone exactly what we came for. Now sadly I don't have a way to leave this dungeon so we actually have to backtrack all the way and if I'm doing it you're coming with me. Oh we got ambushed. Oh come on do they all have to get turns before me? I was just gonna Fyarga them all to death. The Fyarga Daya Dayara combo also known as the Wombo combo of the mages against undead, death, undead things. We kill dead things. We kill them good. Should be a, should be a title for uh, the earth cavern, the f ice cavern, everything that has to deal with undead things. We kill them. We kill them good. And Fire should just be enough to take them out because Fire OP. Alright, everything died and we all gained levels. Or, I say we gained a level. So we go down there, get into another battle, with some mind flyers. I'm surprised I have not used all of my MP and all my ethers yet. It makes me sad. Whoa! He didn't have 3 HP. I guess mind flyers have the added ability to instantly kill a, a, a teammate. Well, that was kind of weird, but uh, thank goodness for Sam Sam we have life. That was weird. Like, I've never seen a Mind Flayer instantly kill someone. I should have done research on them, but I was too lazy. And also too angry at this game. Um, let's go ahead and use some ethers, even though we don't need to, because we're almost done with this place. I just want to have more revenge prepared. Revenge is a dish best served. Fyarga. Go down this way, and we take this passageway. And there we go, the stairs that were never seen last episode. Alright, Diara, Fyara. You know, I still don't know if it's Fira or Fyra. I don't know if it's Fiarga or Fyara. I know it's Fyarga, but I don't know if it's Fira or Fyra. Which makes me sad. You know, uh, logic dictates that if uh, the third spell is Fyarga, it should be Fyra, right? Because it's Fire, Fyra, Fyarga. Or would it be Fyra, Fire, Fira, Fyarga? Yeah, it's just a matter of preference, I believe. I think we can just go up here and just. Say peace out, and we're out of the ice cavern. Yes. 
F this place, I'm going home. Alright, so, um, I guess we can go back to Crescent Lake. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but, uh... Hold on, I'm thinking for a minute. Huh. That can't be the place I have to go, but it is. How do I land there? How do I shot web? Well, we'll go to Crescent Lake and we'll worry about that later. For now, let's just worry about getting to Crescent Lake alive. Go to the inn, and then we'll probably end the episode there, and I'll meet you with more ideas of where to go next. Because there's something specific we want to do with this levy stone. Um, let's just say it's quite an upgrade that makes this game a lot easier. And it's actually required, I believe. I actually know it's required, because you have to have it for a certain battle. Alright, so we're in our boat. We're going to Crescent Lake. We are almost done with the ice cavern forever. We are actually done with the ice cavern forever and ever and ever. We never have to go back there unless I miss something really crucial. And I don't think I did. I got the ice shield and the flame sword. I think we're good. The flame sword's not even that crucial. It's just a little damage upgrade. And the ice shield's a little damage upgrade. Although it did just block both of those shots, which is pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Alright, so... They all perish. Alright, so we're just gonna take the canoe and just... Aww. And kegs, why do you have to ruin all of the fun that I'm going to be having? You know, I'm gonna try and scourge all three of you to death. Even though it will probably only be two of you once Haseo and Guy take care of them. Phew. That flame sword. Let's see if scourge can kill anything. Nope, it both it missed. Which is sad to say. Now let me show you death, because death is badass. And it usually always hits on random enemies. Although I think they're gonna kill it. Nope. Death. Just death comes out and hits it with a scythe and it missed? It never misses. Why? Like I did press or practice recordings of this and it literally didn't miss like 20 times and then that's the first miss I've ever experienced well that was funny alright so here we are back in Crescent Lake it's all good we made it out we are alive we have the levy stone and until the next time this has been Haseo Roxas saying see you in the next one where we will probably get the coolest upgrade ever Later.